Hello and welcome to another F-22 Total Air War Let's Play video! Today we're going to do the JDAM Interdiction Training Mission and JDAM stands for Joint Direct Attack Munition Now basically a JDAM is a normal iron bomb that's had a GPS global positioning satellite system with some fins attached uh, the advantage over this over laser guided bombs is that you don't have to slave a laser on it it's already been pre-programmed by the reconnaissance flights before it we've got to use this JDAM bomb on the Air Force headquarters so we're going to start off in the F-22 I'm going to set our MCON setting to 1 so any surface to air missiles in the area are going to have, a trouble, are going to have trouble locking onto us you can see the bottom right hand side of the screen is the display where the JDAM is to be launched and this is a, a, like a, an elliptical shape on that screen. So we just need to fly over to target area which is over waypoint 4 and place this eclipse over it. So we can release it any time now and bombs away and off it goes. The J down's been guided by the satellite positioning. And boom, we've got it! I'll do a victory barrel roll. The mission goals have been completed. Now we've flown over some surface to air missile launchers and some uh, flat guns. But because we've got a very low radar cross-section, they have been unable to put a lock on us and launch a missile. Now I'm going to fly along a bit here because having done this mission before, there's two enemy planes ahead. If we look at the tactical display, they're not quite there yet. There's some F-22s and F-15s attacking the area as well. And there's a Vulcan cannon, enemy Vulcan cannon just below us and to our left. If we have a quick look at it, there it is. So he hasn't even seen us because we've set our emissions control that's the MCON settings to the lower setting we've got our radar off and we're just using the passive guidance systems now if we look on the tactical display there's uh, an enemy F-15 in patrol so we're just going to attack it if we jump into the smart view we see some action there's an F-16 an ally, allied F-16 that's been hit by a missile or something It's uh, another one of the strike teams in the area. Bit more unfortunate. I guess he, he hasn't got as much stealth capabilities as we, as we have. There's an F-15, which is doing a combat air patrol. Oh, it's launching a missile at somebody. And it's been hit, it was in a dogfight, so a bit unfortunate. And they're the enemy F-15s. And these are the two planes that we're going to try and destroy. They're about 50 miles away now. have a close look at one there it is a nice looking plane it's got a wingman with it so there's two of them now we're getting our aim 120R missiles ready and we've gone to MCOM 4 so our radar's on now I'm just going to let them know we're here. I'll get a radar lock and ready to launch. And missile away. 
You've got to have MCON settings 3 or above to launch any radar missiles. So what we can do is sneak up to the enemy planes and launch at the last minute. And the missile's on its way. We've got a missile on each of the enemy planes. They split apart. And if we jump into the missile view. It's on its way. There it is. Boom! We've got it! Splash one! Well, not quite. It's still in the air. As in flames, as we can see on the infrared search and track display in the bottom centre of the screen. And it's exploded. And, there, and there's only one more plane left. If we have a look at it, let's see what kind of condition they are. The other missile did hit and is going into the ground. Its uh, right wing is on fire. And it's careering into the ground. And a face plant into the ground. <laughs> well, there we have it. That's the training mission done. And I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.